Well, so we have desperate. We have jealous friend. We have lustful energy. That cycle has been completed. Wrong path. Divine connection. Gemini. We have stressing. Then we have Aquarius. So you could be an air sign. This person could be an air sign. Gemini or Aquarius. Yeah, then we have Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody that was a karmic friend. They were desperate. So it's like, they could have did something to have you in a lustful energy. Or they wanted you to be in a lustful energy. This person was like a lustful energy. But that cycle has been closed. It has been completed. It had to be completed because you were on the wrong path. This could have been you who went through this. Someone that you're attached to. This could have been someone you detached from. Different people that want to come towards you. Different people that they are attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy. Past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah, you were on the wrong path. And um, this was a divine connection. It's like you have a divine connection with someone. Somebody could be stressing about that. Yeah, they could be upset. Knight of Swords is here. This could have been this person that was a karmic friend in a lustful energy. This is someone that does stuff without thinking. They do stuff quick and it's out of this lustful energy. This person is quick to have sex with people. Quick to invest their money the wrong way. Just quick to do stuff head on collision without thinking. This person is someone that's desperate. Yeah, the fool card is here. They're pissed off about you going towards a whole nother path. You were on the wrong path. So it's like you're going towards a whole nother direction. Because you have a divine connection. Yeah, five of pentacles is here. This is someone who did not want you to leave them out in the cold. They didn't want to be left out in the cold and they're angry. Whoever this karmic friend is. This person is an entity. You could have been attached to this person for a long time. And you would do stuff without thinking with that person. You would be quick to, you know, this person would be projecting their energy off onto you. And now this person is stressing. Could be because you're no longer out in the cold. Yeah, they're nervous. Nine of Wands is here. This person is dealing with some type of um, wounds. They need to heal. This person is used to the same thing over and over and over again, getting the same results, and they don't get anything out of it. This person was keeping you on the wrong path. They're dealing with some type of abandonment issues. Yeah. The Chariot is here. They're nervous because you're moving forward. And they're stuck at the nine of wands because they chose to stay in the same energy. 
Everybody got to do the work on their self. You cannot do the work for someone. They cannot do the work for you. Yeah, this is someone that was very toxic. This is someone that's binded to devil energy. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, they could be nervous because you're obsessed with moving forward. A lot of stuff is coming in for you. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. This is like the ultimate happiness. And you just could be moving forward from this devil energy, this toxic energy. And now a lot of stuff is coming in quick for you. Or you moved on. Yeah, and this person feels stuck. The hangman is here. This person was trying to keep you stuck. Yeah, nine of swords. They were trying to keep you stuck in your head. They were trying to keep you stressed out. And fear about moving forward. Now they're in their head feeling stuck. Because it's like you're no longer out in the cold. Yeah, and they can no longer hold on four pinnacles in the reverse. And they're stressing out. Queen of Cups is here. Yeah, you were someone that was very kind-hearted to this person. Very caring. You would have emotional conversations with that person. And um, you're someone that's very emotionally balanced. So it's like this person can no longer hold on to you. They can no longer get you to pour out love to them. You started pouring that love into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You got betrayed by that person multiple times. Ten of swords is here. And they can no longer hold on trying to ten of swords you, backstab you multiple times. And they were doing this over and over again. Yeah, you had to cut this person off. King of swords is here. This was someone you needed to distance yourself from. And they're stressing. They're all in their head. They could have thought they had you in the hangman energy stuck. Yeah, nine of pentacles is here. You realize that you're someone that's one of a kind. You realize that you were on the wrong path. You need to complete a cycle out with this person. Yeah. You're someone that's more self-sufficient, more, you know, able to stand on your own two feet. And this person is the total opposite of you. This person was only trying to hold on to you because of the love that you give. How you look out for this person. But they were betraying you. But they thought that since you were in this Queen of Cups energy, it was sweet. And they would keep it hidden. The moon card is here. And you would just be, you know, continuing to be loyal to that person. The hair fine, then a moon card. This person had a lot of secrets. Yeah, Two of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you possibly didn't even know why you were loyal to this person is what I'm getting. Yeah. This person could have been doing something secretly. Because this person is someone that's very toxic. There's no telling what this person was doing to get you to be, um, you know, attached to them, loyal to them, different things like that. Look at them as someone that you could trust. And in reality, this person, you could not trust this person. They were betraying you, backstabbing you. Yeah. You were loyal to this person. This person is the moon. They were very dark. They had a lot of stuff that was hidden. This person wanted you to be at the two of pentacles, going back and forth, juggling between thoughts and finance, juggling between two places, two things, and just juggling throughout life because they're in this two of pentacles energy. And they were trying to project that off onto you. Yeah, but they wanted to have you at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They didn't want you to know. This person could have blinded you from the truth for a long time. Now this person is stressing because they can no longer hold on. Yeah, you have a new beginning. You chose to take action towards whatever it is you want out of life. Ace of Wands. 
Queen of Swords is here. Yeah. You could be going towards someone that's in the same energy as you. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You want to take action towards this person. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, Clarity. You gain some type of truth and, truth and clarity. This person could have spoke truth and clarity to you. Yeah. This could be someone that you have a divine connection with. And they were speaking the truth about stuff that you were blinded to. Yeah, you want to speak truth and clarity to this person. Page of Swords is here. Could be watching this person. Ten of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been researching. It's like you found out something new. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. As you were watching this person, you could have found out about a divine connection. You could have found out you were on the wrong path. Now, whoever this person is that, that was desperate, this karmic friend, they're stressing. Yeah, three of swords in the reverse. They're stressing because you're not depressed. You're not going through heartache. They're, they're stressing because you've healed. They could have wanted you. Yeah, the star card is here. They could have wanted you to be in a depression state so you wouldn't be moving forward or you wouldn't get on the path that you're supposed to be on. But it's like you've healed. Yeah, you've learned new things. These are things that you needed to know. You needed to gain truth and clarity. You needed to heal. You needed to get woke. Yeah, get woke to the fact that this person was slowing you down. Knight of Pentacles is here. You could have felt slow movement around that person and you didn't understand why. Why was things, you know, happening for you in a slow motion type of way? It's because you needed to heal and release this energy detached from this person. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. You needed to get by yourself wish fulfillment and be happy. You needed to love yourself. This person could have been slowing you down from somebody that you were watching as wish fulfillment. And they were trying to keep you in a depressed, depressed state of mind. Stressed out. It was like as, as you have healed, that person is stuck in their energy. The energy that they were trying to project off onto you. To try to keep you on the wrong path, going in the wrong direction. Yeah, Page of Cups is here. And then the Empress is here. Yeah, you want to apologize to someone or have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone. This could have been this person that you were watching as wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups and then the Empress is here. This is the person that you have a divine connection with. This is the person that you found out the truth. Yeah. Yeah, the sun card is here. It's like a lot of stuff was illuminated. A lot of stuff was being exposed. You found out the truth. Whatever was done in the dark, it came to the light. And that's why this karmic friend is stressing. Yeah, the emperor on the bottom of the deck. This is the person that you have the divine connection with. This is your divine counterpart. Past life galaxies, generations ago, Six of Cups is here. That person could have knew in the past and they were trying to hold on to you. Yeah, Four of Cups is here. They wanted you to miss an opportunity. It's like as you were holding on to that person, you were feeling rejected, insecure. And you didn't understand that this person was projecting their energy off onto you. This person was desperate. Yeah, the lovers is here. This person wanted you to reject this person. They wanted you to miss an opportunity out on love. Yeah, because this person was attacked. This person was desperate to try to keep you in a lustful energy. They wanted you to reject love. And they, they wanted you to, you know, stay on the wrong path. And they wanted you to be in this lustful energy. Yeah, the will of fortune is here. 
All because they knew about this destiny. They knew that you had a divine connection with that person. They knew that you were destined to meet this person. Or something like that. Yeah, Three of Wands is here. And then Queen of Wands. Yeah, they knew this. Three of Wands. It's like they knew this. And they did. They made a decision off of what they knew. Whatever they found out, they made a decision to do whatever they were doing to try to hold on to you. To try to keep you in this devil energy. Could have been addi you know, ad addicted to different things. Obsessions, bad habits. They were trying to keep you toxic. Yeah. King of Cups is here. Yeah, so it's like with this Three of Wands and Queen of Wands, it's like you made a decision based off of this person. Queen of Wands is here. It's like you could have seen this person in this Queen of Wands energy. You see this person as a leader, someone that's very inspiring. This person was just going after whatever it is they want out of life, minding their business and focusing on their goals. This is someone that's very in tune, very spiritual. Um, this is somebody that's woke. Yeah, King of Cups is here. They knew that you had emotions for this person and you had some type of attraction or affection for this person. And they were secretly at the Five of Wands, but they confused you. They placed some type of illusion around you. They did not want you to know that they were secretly in competition with you. Secretly trying to one-up you. Yeah, you could have thought that you were building with this person. Three of Pentacles, collaborating with this person. And this person was secretly in competition with you, causing confusion around you. Yeah, the <laughs> Yeah. This person knew that you, you're someone, they know that you're someone that's very strong. So it's like they secretly, this person could have been scared of you. So that's why they did all of this to confuse you and they were um, secretly in competition with you. Secretly wanting you to be in an illusion, thinking that you were built something with them. And the whole time it's in the reverse. This person wanted you to invest in them. Yeah, they were, it's in the reverse. This person wanted you to be stuck. Eight of Swords is here. Stuck in some type of investment with them. This could have been time. You could have knew that person for a long time. And they wanted you to be stuck. This is sad. Yeah, this was a friend of me. And then Knight of Wands is here. This is somebody that you was attached to, as I said, and you would be in this, in this Knight of Wands energy, just doing stuff without thinking. And it was because this person was confusing you. Yeah, spending money without thinking. Different stuff like that. You couldn't keep anything. You just felt stuck and trapped around this part. I'm done. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. Yeah, it's like you, you're being divinely guided to sail away from this person so you could have victory and success. You're someone that's very high ranking. That's why you needed to sail away from this person. This person was very low. You're someone that's held in high honor and that person didn't want you to be held in high honor. This person was someone that was keeping you on the wrong path and they were desperate to do that. Yeah, the death card is here. You had to put an end to a situation with that person and go through a transformation in order to be in the Six of Wands energy and have a victory and success. Yeah, you needed to isolate from this person. Four Swords is here. Cleanse yourself. Get enlightened. Reevaluate. Rehabilitate. Yeah, Tower is here. This could have caused a drastic change in this person's life, and that's why they're stressing. Because a cycle had been completed as they were trying to, you know, desperately keep you on the wrong path. Because they knew you had a divine connection. Yeah, the world is here. That was a cycle that needed to be completed. In order to walk into a new cycle. Yeah, you need... <laughs> Page of Wands is here. 
And then King of Wands is here. Yeah. You need to complete a cycle with this person so you can get in tune. You will be able to receive communication. You'll be able to communicate. You're someone that's a communicator. Yeah, this person was projecting their energy off onto you. You're someone that's very talented. You're someone that's very gifted. And you possibly did not know because you were around this energy that was slowing you down. Projecting their negative energy off onto you. Projecting their insecurities off onto you. To keep you in this low vibrational energy. And on the wrong path. But they were trying to hide this. High Priestess is here. But they knew if you found out you would walk away. Eight of Cups is here. Yeah, you will be balancing yourself out. Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Yeah, and then Four of Wands is here. This person knew that you would be coming in union with your soul. You will be coming in union with this person that you have a divine connection with. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. So they were trying to set different stuff up, strategize against you. They thought they were smarter than you. They did a whole bunch of stuff out of desperation. And that's why they're at the Eight of Swords stuff. Bonded, blinded, and tied up. And they possibly don't even know. Yeah, they got caught a long time ago. Five of Cups is here. Yeah, they're in regret. This person is ashamed and embarrassed because whatever they did out of desperation, it didn't work. And that's why they're stressed, and that's why they're in regret. But it was all good when they were at the Seven of Swords and they thought you didn't know. The unknown card in Seven of Swords when they were being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes and thought that they weren't going to get caught. Now they're in regret because they only, you know, placed a lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot wait. Ten of Wands. And they're running in circles throughout life, heavy burdens. Yeah, as justice is being served. 